I'm in Dalmeny, a small village here in South Scotland, just north of Edinburgh. And as far as I'm concerned, Dalmeny is famous for one thing and one thing only, and that is, of course, the Forth Bridge. So according to my research, the Forth Bridge is a red cantilever bridge which crosses over the Firth of Forth. And other than that, I know nothing about it. I have one goal and one goal only for this video, and that is to cross over the Forth Bridge. So it is a railway bridge. The only way you can cross over it is by train. And I do have a ticket, but I can get on any service. So we have all the time I need and before I do that I want to go and get a decent view of it. Right by the train station there's this really nice convenient little footpath which is supposed to lead straight to a pier and from that pier you can get a really good view of the bridge. Just a quick note it isn't the only bridge I believe there's three or four bridges which cross very close to each other so it's quite similar to the River Severn I suppose. Yeah I did a similar thing in Severn Beach a few months ago well it'll be like a good six months ago now I think and that video did terribly <laughs> so I know I've done this a few times now I did Clifton Suspension bridge as well and these videos about bridges never do well but they are really fun and it's good to get a little village in as opposed to a big city. I was about to say that the footpath might get really boring but then I saw this and it's a really cool viaduct and you can see right there that's where it turns into the fourth bridge so yeah I think we have to carry on along there to get to the pier so I'll see you when we get there. So, as I hope you can see, the bridge is right there. There is the pier here, but it's actually the launch for the RNLI, and you can walk along it, but I'm just not too interested. You can get a really good view from here anyway. Yeah, there's a lot of trains going over it, and we will hopefully be going over it later. You can also see a town there. That is North Queens Ferry, and that's where we'll be catching the train to. Yeah, it's a really cool bridge, and the water is pretty epic as well, and we can actually see some boats. I've zoomed in as far as I can here, and you can see some massive freight ships over there. I'm guessing they've just come from the North Sea, or they're about to go out into the North Sea, I don't know. Might be able to see some little white dots, which are some private boats, I suppose. Then over there, as I mentioned, that's Queen's Ferry, where we'll be going later. That is one of the other bridges, that's the road bridge. I'm not quite sure what it's called, and I believe there is another one on the other side of that, or maybe it's that thing there. Quick correction to what I just said, there are two bridges there. I think they're both road bridges, but I'm not quite sure, and then obviously there's the fourth bridge. I just did that really weird thing that you get used to as a content creator where you go off on tangents in order to kind of finish what you're saying. It's very strange. Yeah, we are going back to the train station now. I've just arrived at the train station. As I've learned from experience, I'm not going to try and talk to you on the train because you can never hear anything I'm saying. But I will do a montage. It's very exciting. We're going to get a lot of, sorry, we're going to get a lot of, sorry. I'm really excited to get loads of cool shots over the bridge. North Queen's Ferry. That was a very exciting experience going over the fourth bridge. There's two things I want to do here. I want to go and get another view of the bridge from this side of the water and I would quite like to get some food but I'm not that hungry so it's not a priority. And we have completed our one and only goal for the day. Now we've gone over the bridge. So I very rarely struggle with directions when we're near the water because it's almost always downhill. There's one of the other bridges there. As I said if you know what the name of the other two bridges are or the names of the other two bridges are please let me know. Just just looked it up the one in the middle is a road bridge except it's a much less used a road than the other one i think the other one might be a motorway but i'm not quite sure there's our view so far looks absolutely incredible especially in that light mist i try to avoid filming houses but these would be absolutely amazing to live in that's really annoying. I've just realized my mic was off for all that time, so I'm really sorry if the audio sounded a bit weird. I am just gonna talk for a little bit longer because I've been doing lots of really short clips. So I just wanted to very quickly say that if you'd like to support the channel with a little bit of spare money you have, you can do so using the link in the pinned comment. And if you don't have any money, that's absolutely fine because after these trips, neither do I. I spend all my money on equipment and train tickets. So you can also support the channel by liking, subscribing, and even commenting. There's an enormous plane there. They're getting a really nice view of the bridge. That is actually huge. I think it's probably like an army plane or a jumbo jet or something. That's really impressive. Just wait till it comes out the other side. It's really loud as well. <laughs> I don't have long left to be able to film. I have another, about another 10 minutes. I am really sorry for the short videos recently. I am, however, going to Edinburgh tomorrow, hopefully. So we'll try and make a really long video there. Both sides of the Firth or Firth, Firth and 
Firth of Forth are very touristy, but I think this side's probably the more touristy one. I think the Dalmeny side could do with a car park. I forgot what the water was called for a sec. It's quite a strange name, the Firth of Forth, for a body of water. I don't even know what kind of water it is. So it's obviously not a river, it's not a lock, it's not a lake, it's not a pond, <laughs> it's not a sea, it's not an ocean. Maybe an estuary, but an estuary's like a river, right? So I don't know if it turns into a river. Once again, let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> a nice block of, let's say, stereotypical affordable Scottish flats there. And they don't look particularly nice, but I bet they have an amazing view, especially pointing that way. And that view <laughs> yeah we're gonna go along this little nice cobbled road now because down there was just a car park and a little footpath which led to another beach thing i think it's more interesting around this way anyway and as i said i don't have much longer to film just walked around this corner and i really didn't expect this view let me show you it's absolutely incredible and i know i've said that a lot in this video but you can't really see it on camera it's like in this kind of mist it's slightly foggy and the water is really nice as well it would be amazing without the bridges and i don't know if you could see but far over there is whatever it's called dalmeny sorry i i learned these place names today so i keep forgetting and here's the village it's really nice i'd absolutely love to live here i've said that a lot in this video too right how about we get a souvenir from the fourth bridge well from next to the fourth bridge let's not pick up a piece of litter as a souvenir here we go like the look of this there we go take this home with me back to gloucestershire i am gonna have to end the video here i've really 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 enjoyed my experience here hanging around the fourth bridge so if you get the opportunity to come i strongly recommend you take it but unfortunately i am gonna have to end the video here so as i said like literally 30 seconds ago for you if you'd like to support the channel with a little bit of money you have you can donate in the pinned comment if you don't have any money that's absolutely fine you can also support the channel by liking subscribing and even commenting i'll see you next week hopefully in edinburgh which i'm filming tomorrow so i'll try and make it a nice long video and uh yeah bye, -bye.